Welcome everyone, it's Neil here from 3D Tudor, back today with another, another great geometry node. And this time we created a geometry node, which is because I was facing an issue putting a fence over the top of the bridge. Yes, I could make the fence go over the top of the bridge, so the bridge was over here in question. So I had a bridge like this, I was trying to put a fence over the top of it, and it took a lot of work and a lot of struggle to actually get this going over the top, even with follow curves and array meshes and things like that, it was still rather difficult. So what I decided to do was create a geometry node, which would allow me to do this quickly and easily, and realize when I was doing this actually, that many of you out there probably need a need for this actual geometry node. Whether you're dealing with a uh, prison camp, whether you're dealing with some fancy scene, or even something that's realistic where you need a fence. All right, so before carrying on, if you wanna get this uh, geometry node, as you always say, for free, along with all of our courses, hours and hours and hours hundreds of hours at this point of content then check out our patreon down below drop us a like and subscribe and now let's get started so the first thing i'll show you is if we come and put this on rendered view you will see that this fence is already looking pretty nice and this metal fence is also looking pretty nice and the reason is because we've also supplied you within this actual download pack are one of our wood shaders and one of our metal shaders as well. All of the edgeware and things like that can be changed. But now you came here for the fence, so let's discuss the fence. So what I'm gonna do now is put it on object mode. I'm gonna bring in a curve. So any curve, so let's bring in a path. Let's make it a little bit bigger, like so. And then what we're gonna do now is add in a geometry node. Now at the moment, I've got three examples. The first one is a geometry node pretty much where you don't need a lot. You just need a post and a top and that's it. And the second one, is, and the third one here is where you're gonna need a collection of some kind. So in other words, this wire fence you can see here, you can create your own wire fence and put that in as well. You can see the wire fence is over here. So I'll create a wire fence, I created a post, I've got another post here, and then I've got five of these different fence types as well. And then we've got a basic plank here. So this is the one we're gonna use first, this basic plank. That's all you need for this one. So what I'm gonna do now is bring in a geometry node and the one we want isn't going to be uh, the bridge or anything like that. It's just going to be the fence. So let's bring in the fence. And you can see at the moment that's looking pretty big. Now let's not worry about any of that or the scaling or anything like that at the moment. All we want to do at the moment is bring in this post and bring in this, uh, this plank here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to where it says post. I'm going to click that off. And then I'm going to come over and click on this post here. And then I'm going to click on the top of the post, which will be this post here. These two objects, as you can see, are actual separated. And then finally, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my basic plank. Now, you can see here um, on all of these options, we do have an option which says collection, or we can turn this to object. So let's turn this to object, and now you'll see your plank comes into place. Now, let's reset the transformation. So Control A, reset all the transforms, and we'll end up with something like this. From here, then... With our basic plank, we've got, first of all, a offset. So we can come in and basically offset this, pull it up like so. And what we can also do is change the count. So if I bring the count up, let's say to three, and then all I'm gonna do is the part offset, bring that down. You can see already, we've got a pretty decent fence. Now the best thing, of course, is we can come in and actually bring this around, turn it wherever we want, and we can even raise it up like so if we need it. Aha, but you're saying the, the fence actually just follows the curve and that's not what I want. I want the fence to go straight up. Well, we've also got an option here to make that follow straight up where it says a line type. We can actually put this to Z axis and then it'll follow it up a hill or something like that, whatever your needs are. Now, best of all, even with this um, basic plank, so you can see this basic plank here, I can come down and I can change, for instance, the height of them. I can change the thickness of them if I want to. I can change the width of them. I can basically change all of that. But the most important thing with this fence is we wanted it to not only be like a brand new fence, but we also want the ability to change this into a fence that looks weathered and rugged and things like that. So we've also made it where we can actually change the roll randomness, the pitch randomness, and the yaw randomness. So how do we do that? So if we change the roll, first of all, you will see that some of these planks now start to roll this way, some of them start to roll that way. Let's change the pitch then. You can see now that some of these planks are actually starting to pitch now. And if we change it on the randomness, you can see now some of them are bending this way, some of them are bending the other way, and you can see now we've got a lot of randomization. Let's change the your randomness as well. And we'll bring it just, just slightly now, 
And now you can see already, we've got a pretty random fence through no work whatsoever, really. All right, the other thing you can do is as well, you can reverse the curve. You can also uh, come in and change the seed like so. So change it to whatever you want. And what you can also do as well is if I go over the top, I can also extrude this out to wherever I want it like so. And there we go. Simple as that. Now let's actually bring in now, let's actually take this off first. So we're still going to use this curve, but what I'll do now is I'll show you both of these objects. So if I come in and I just turn this off and then all I'm going to do is add in a geometry node again, come on down and bring in my fence. And this time we'll add in this metal fence. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to come down um, to where my top um, object is. So you can see here, let's turn that off. Let's bring the, our metal one in. So what I'll do is now I'll come in I'll leave this on collection and what I want to do now is pick the actual collection. So the one we want is the wire fence. So you can see that this wire fence is in this collection here. So I'm going to go back to it. Oh, the other thing as well is you can actually show the curve if you want it as well, just to make it a little bit easier for you. So the one I want is wire fence. So all I'm going to do, click off my uh, collection and just come down to where it says wire fence, bring that in. And there you go. There is your actual wire fence. As easy as that. And the other good thing is because we've actually um, set this onto Z axis, I can come in, bring this up, and you'll see that it just goes over any lumps on the terrain that you might have or anything like that. Now let's quickly just reset that. And let me just show you now the length can also be changed. So if I come down, I can have a random length. As you can see, we can bring the random length down. We can also change the height to be random as well, like so. And we can also change the thickness, but we don't want to do that on this one because, you know, we're happy with the thickness that it is. All right. So now let me show you the last one, which is a collection like this. So you can see this collection only had one part in there. What happens if we put more things in the collection? So all I'm going to do is I'm going to come up, turn it off again. New, just add in my fence geometry node. Let's come down and what we'll do is we'll pick the post. We'll pick the top of the post. And then what we want to do is come down now. We want it on collection, so we don't need the blank plank. And the one we want is going to be the wire. So wire, uh, no, it's not. It's fence set 201. And there we go. This is this collection here. And then what we can do now is we can raise those up a little bit. So you can see we've got this dead offset, which we can raise up. Now you can also see because we've got this in now, even though we've got in the collection, we can still come down and change the um, pitch. For instance, we can change the randomness of this pitch if we want to. We can change the seed if we wanted to and anything like that. And what's more as well, we can also come in and drag this up like so. And you can see it's as easy as that to create a fence based on your own collection. And if I go in now, you'll see that all of the um, materials are on there as well. Now, what I recommend when you've actually got this is come up to object and convert to mesh like so and then you'll see that all of this is converted into mesh and now i can simply go in here. at the moment you can see that it's all pretty similar on the um on the shader and that's simply because all we need to do now is come in and unwrap all of our mesh and then we'll end up with something like this let's then just quickly go over to the uv editing grab everything r90 let's spin it around just to make sure it's the right um just to make sure that it's going the right way for the wood that we've brought in. And now you can see all of these look very, very different. As simple as that. Now, finally, the actual bridge. So let's come to the part where I had my bridge. So let's bring my bridge over. This bridge then is done with a geometry node. You can check out um, our bridge geometry node if you want something like this. You know, you can mess around with the, uh, with the height of it. You can mess around with the bending factor like so and all the crazy stuff like that we can also put holes in there really really great thing if you want to actually create your own bridges but what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take this off so i'm going to come to my railing take off not my railing my uh railing stones so let's uh take those off like so and i want something just like this so what i'm going to do is convert this to a mesh so convert to mesh and here we are here is our bridge now what i want to do is i want to put a fence down this side and this side and this is the thing that i was struggling with so all I'm going to do is press Control R, left click, right click, right in the center, Control R, left click, right click, right in the center. And then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab each of these I've just created and I'm going to press Shift D, like so, drag them up. So Shift Space Bar, let's bring them up. And there we go. We've got our 
two actual geometry nodes. Let's press P then, selection, split them off, and let's just do these one at a time. I'm just going to hide my bridge out of the way for now. I'm going to come to each of these then, and I'm going to grab this one, L, P, selection, and now they're split off, as you can see from each other. Let's grab this second one then, and all I'm going to do is object, convert, and this time we're just going to convert them into a curve, and now you'll see if I press tab, I've got a beautiful curve there instead. All right, let's come over then to add um, geometry node. So let's uh, geometry node, there we go. Click the down arrow, fence, and now let's bring in our part. So I'm just going to come back over here. And the first fence, what I'll do is I'll come in, take that off. I'll pick my post. And you can make any of your posts, of course, and any tops, whatever you want, like so. And then what I'm going to do is use the collection. And I think with this collection, we'll go down and we'll use a fence set um, dot 001 like so and there we go and now let's turn up the uh, z offset like so and now let's come to our second fence so all i'm going to do with this one is i'm going to grab this one shift select this one press ctrl l and i'm going to copy modifiers and there we go but on this one i want it to be a little bit different so all i'm going to make sure to do first is change the seed on this one let's put it up two or three something like that and you know what the other thing is I'd like this fence to be a little bit different from this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change this post. So let's change these like so. Let's change that as well. And then what we'll do is we'll click on this. We'll put that on. And then as far as the collection goes, we'll come down and we'll have it on wire fence like so. And then all I need to do is just drop this down a little bit. So Z offset, drop it down like so. The other thing is at the moment the posts they're pointing the wrong way so they're just following the curve i'll fix that i'll just put it on to follow z axis i'll also do the same on this one z axis alt h bring back then my bridge and all i'm going to do is drop these just these into place on top of my bridge like so double tap the a and there we go as easy as that guys to make a bridge now what about the ends well let's come to both of these ends so let's grab them both let's press tab and all i'm going to do is just grab each one of these and press e and we're going along the x-axis so let's pull them out into place right to the end of there you can see this one a little bit shorter so let's grab it let's pull it back then into place and there we go double tap the a and it's as easy as that now to make a fence however you like the other thing is as well just before i finish of course you can make your fence just follow something so if i come in not this one let's grab this one and uh, just keep grabbing it so e e e just keep extruding it out however you like it and you'll see that it just keeps updating like so double tap the a and there we go all right, everyone, so I hope you enjoyed this one. We've got over 30 now geometry nodes. We're aiming for 100 by the end of the year. And you can see we do everything from meadows to jungle vines to roof tiles to planks of wood, everything. We want to be the one place to come whenever you want to get a job done quickly and easily. All right, everyone, so I hope you enjoyed that. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.